Naturalism in Education Naturalism is a philosophical doctrine which holds the belief that matter is the ultimate reality. Thus, naturalism believes that the material world is the only real world and that it is governed by natural laws. For this reason, the naturalists viewed the material world as a powerful force and independent mechanism. Thus, when the naturalist interprets the material world, he or she focuses on explanations that come from the laws of nature per se, rather than employing supernatural or spiritual explanations. Now, if applied to the field of education, naturalism could have far-reaching implications. First of all, since nature as the ultimate reality is governed by natural laws and that interpretations and explanations of the material world must emanate from these internal laws, then it is best if children are encouraged to learn with nature. For the naturalist, this approach gives children full freedom as so they can learn whatever they want. This is so because, for the naturalist, the senses are the gateway of knowledge, and that learning would naturally happen if we open our senses to whatever nature will reveal to us. It is therefore quite understandable that the main aim of education, from the vantage point of naturalism, is the perfect natural development of the learner. In particular, a naturalist education also aims to enhance self-expression on the part of the learner as well as to prepare the learner for future struggles in life. The role, therefore, of the teacher in naturalism is to facilitate the learning process by creating learning situations so the learners will have the opportunity to learn naturally by themselves. In other words, teachers must see to it that they act as stage setter who provide the students with necessary platform for their own learning. Teachers also need to behave in such a way that they are sympathetic and affectionate towards their students. Hence, teachers must pose themselves as friends to their students. They don't need to terrorize students for the latter to learn and get disciplined. And one of the best ways to do this is for teachers to take time to understand the needs, capacities, interests, and desires of their students. What could then be the possible method of teaching in naturalism? Most naturalists believe that one of the best methods of teachings is the learning by doing method, or the learning by experience or activity method. This method, according to the educational naturalists, ensures active involvement of students in the teaching and learning process. This method also promotes self-government and self-effort on the part of the students. Thus, as already hinted, students learn by themselves. Another important teaching method in naturalism is the observation method. Here, students observe their surrounding environment, peoples, and things, and then draw some learning insights from these observations. Lastly, of course, teachers may develop new teaching methods and strategies according to the student's needs, capacities, desires, and interest. This is important because for the naturalist, there is no universal, unchanging method of teaching that teachers can apply to all types of students or class settings. Thus, the proponents of educational naturalism encourage teachers to change teaching method once it is no longer appropriate to the time and needs of the students. As we can see, 
the curriculum in educational naturalism must be framed according to the needs, capacities, and interests of the students. In other words, the curriculum for the educational naturalists must be flexible so that teachers can change it anytime. Also, the curriculum must incorporate principles necessary for the holistic and natural development of the learners, such as the principle of activity, the principle of scientific study, and the principle of life-centeredness.